it's another banana bucket list. If you follow me on social media, you will know that I am already in Central America. I'm filming this before I've departed, but I wanted to create a specific bucket list for Central America, so I just have an idea of things that I know I don't want to miss when I'm out there. I'm not going to lie, a couple of months ago, I literally had no idea of anything that was to do in Central America. My friends and I just kind of booked the flight but we didn't actually know what we were in for. So we've done our bit of research and compiled a list of things that we really want to do when we arrive. So the first is the Panama Canal. This is an artificial lake that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Interestingly, France began constructing this in 1881 before America took over in 1904. It greatly reduced the amount of excavation work for ships traveling between oceans. So I'd love to visit the Panama Canal and learn more about the fascinating history behind it. It is also one of the seven wonders of the modern world, according to Wikipedia. In Costa Rica, there are two big places that we don't want to miss. The first is Mont Verde Cloud Forest Reserve. I don't even know if I said that correctly, so firstly, I'd like to know if I said that right. The second place is Arenal Volcano National Park. Arenal Volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in the whole of Costa Rica and judging by the pictures it just looks like one of the most stunning places in the entire world and I can't wait to hike around, take in the beauty, probably get lost but have a great adventure out there. In Nicaragua the top of the list is an activity called volcano boarding. Apparently this is the only place in the world that you can do this. You hike to the top of Cerro Negro, again I don't know if I just said that right, in a fetching orange is the new black style jumpsuit and then you quite literally board down. I think you can stand up and sort of snowboard down. I've never snowboarded so I probably won't go for that option but you can also just get a board which you can sit on and you just slide all the way down. This sounds amazing! In Belize, I would really like to go cave tubing. It seems like a trip where you just float around in a cave in a rubber ring. Need I say more? I'd also really like to scuba dive in the Great Blue Hole, but I really don't think I'm gonna have my paddy, so I probably won't be able to do this, but it was on my previous banana bucket list to get my paddy in 2015, so... Watch this space! And finally in Mexico, there are a few things on the list. The first is one of the new seven wonders of the world, so how could we miss it? It is the Chichen Itza. I think I said that right. God, I really need to learn about saying these right. I'm probably so wrong. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you and say that I don't know much about this monument at all, but being one of the seven wonders of the world, I'm assuming it's definitely worth a visit. So I cannot wait to learn more about it and fully appreciate being there. There's also a snazzy looking cave pool nearby, so don't you worry, I shall be taking a dip in that. And my second thing in Mexico is the underwater sculpture near Cancun. It's like an underwater museum which I've never seen anything like that in the world before. It looks awesome and I want to go explore it because it looks awesome, okay? <laughs> Obviously these are not the only places that we will visit in Central America but having researched these were just the places that we saw and we were like we cannot miss that. Let me know if you definitely think I have missed out things, because I'm sure I have and I'm sure many of you know so many more places that are great to go to. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>